On today's show, the Tuscaloosa City Schools provided our students with numerous enrichment opportunities this summer. We'll take you on a field trip to see students interact with animals. Another group went to a honey farm and learned how bees make honey. The Marine Corps Junior ROTC program taught students useful life skills. And the Junior Fire College Academy provided a real world look at basic fire safety and procedures. And a high school student athlete signs a college scholarship. All this and more is coming up now. Hi, thanks for joining us today for Inside Tuscaloosa City Schools. I am Eddie McClinton. The Marine Corps Junior ROTC Academy Summer Camp at the Tuscaloosa Career Technology Academy introduces discipline and hard work and teaches middle school students useful skills. Well, right now here at the uh, Summer Enrichment Program, we're doing rope work today, just teaching the kids how to tie knots and you know, how we use uh, ropes to negotiate obstacles in the military. So they're putting to work some of the skills that they learned today as far as uh, the knots that they've learned to tie and how to uh, traverse a one rope bridge and get across it and uh, just playing a little bit with some uh, mock cash to back as well. This rope bridge is, um, if there's like a river down here, you can get it across it easily and you have to we made these certain knots to where we can hang across and pull ourselves across that easy. You get you something that hangs and then you glide across so you got to keep your feet up. And so when you do that, it's teaching you how to like get over pools. They seem to be enjoying what we're doing. They're having a lot of fun. We try to make it as fun as possible. This is a chance for us to show uh, the public and some of these kids that may not have even heard of JROTC some of the fun stuff that we do out here. What's beneficial to them, I mean, they're learning skills uh, that, you know, will, you know, just like a Boy Scout, you know, he goes to camp and learns some skills that he may use later in his life. It's kind of the same thing. And uh, they're learning some confidence as well. You know, when we introduced them to a lot of this stuff, they didn't think they could do it. And now they're getting out here and giving them a chance to try it. So it's raising their self-esteem, showing them that they can do anything they put their mind to. Well, for kids our age, you get to have a great learning experience and you get to um, experience what military, um, how people serve our country and what they have to do and how they work out daily, um, how they train. It's awesome. In case you want to do something like be in the military or something like that and then, and then we'll know how to use something in case we need it and also because we'll Okay. We'll know right, if we if we want to if we get in a situation bad. We'll know what to do. The Bugs 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 course at the TCS Summer Enrichment Academy included a field trip to Hewitt's Honey Farm to give students a close-up look at honeybees and a lesson on how honey is harvested. I'm teaching bugs, 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 and other creepy crawlers. And so today we got to come to the Hewitt Honey Farm in Duncanville. The kids have been um, investigating and researching about bumblebees and honeybees. So today they got to learn about the whole process of how honey is harvested. So we saw cool things about bees and we get, got to see some things and learn about bees. The kids have learned from the beginning of the process about the worker bees and how the queen bee is in charge of the hive. Mr. Hewitt showed the kids exactly how a beekeeper can harvest the honey and how he tends to his hives. The, the fun part that I enjoyed was eating honey and even though bees sting, you still can like them. But if you don't have bees, you can't taste honey. I learned that if a predator gets in, it can destroy the, the hive. And if, and if the queen dies, if they don't get another queen, the other bees can die. The funnest part for me is kind of learning about bees and seeing what a beekeeper does and what they wear. This is a wonderful opportunity for so many Tuscaloosa City school kids um, 
We have kids from all elementary schools and they're all learning from each other and they're all bringing their, their diverse backgrounds and the knowledge that they already have and then some are being um, driven in different areas of interest just because they're making new friends. So this is a wonderful opportunity for these kids. Middle school students are cooking up delicious dishes at Camp Master Chef. It's one of the awesome summer learning opportunities that took place at the Tuscaloosa Career and Technology Academy Summer Camp. We are working this summer on learning all different culinary te techniques. So today students learn measuring skills and how to use, um, how to measure dry ingredients and liquid ingredients. They'll be learning about uh, knife skills and actually using chef quality um, professional culinary tools. Um, and so they're going to learn about different flavors. Yesterday we have done quiche, quiche which had bacon and cheese in it and bacon, cheese and bell peppers. And then today we're making chocolate chip cookies. And Thursday we're making macaroni and cheese. We've learned how to properly like measure everything. So like what we need to pack in and what we just need to like loosely put in the cups and what cups we need to use. Um, and we also learned all the abbreviations for all of the measuring. Um, we're trying to kind of cram as much as we can until one week or four days for the kids to learn and get exposed to as many different flavor combinations and um, you know professional grade. Um, kitchen uh, uh, tools and um, ingredients as possible. It's fun and it, like, it's something that I can do outside of here and I can do it for like the rest of my life. Because I took a cooking class at school in sixth grade and I wanted to finish learning how to cook. You know, for kids to give up their summer to come in and, and take part in our enrichment program, they've been excited. Um, all the kids have just been delightful and, you know, getting to taste everything and um, try it. We heard yesterday one student only eats chicken fingers and fries, but the mom told us she had um, quiche yesterday for the first time. And so everybody seems to be having a really good time. And I know uh, myself and Dr. King are having a blast teaching them. Students learn the basics of what it's like to be a firefighter by participating in real world training techniques at the Junior Fire College Academy camp at the Tuscaloosa Career and Technology Academy. This camp is a good lead way for uh, these uh, middle school children when they come here to high school to kind of go ahead and get their feet wet of what we do in the fire service and what we do in this class here at TCTA. So I think it's a good uh, chance, a good recruiting tool, so they already kind of know ahead of time before they get the schedule, uh, before I get them, they already know what's going on. Uh, we're going to be learning some water supply things, talking about uh, about hose and pressure and water lines and the importance of it. We're also going to be talking about uh, technical rescue, so we're talking about building collapse, um, talking about some high angle rope rescue, things like that. Uh, we're also going to be talking about uh, what we call RIT, which is our rapid intervention team, so that's uh, firefighter survival, as well as talking about rescuing people. It was mimicking like the five basic things that we have to do in the fire service, which is pulling hose, rolling hose. Uh, maybe having to do forced winter on a door, uh, also having to raise a ladder. Also, most of the time, a lot of places, like apartment complexes and stuff, we have to carry equipment up the staircase. So it's, he's doing a culmination, a workout that's designed to look just like the real thing. And another camp at the Tuscaloosa Career and Technology Academy this summer was Super Drone. It introduces students to computer coding that they implement in plotting flight courses for drones. So the students actually learn how to write code and then upload that code for a flight that the drone will take. We're learning about how to control drones and what they, and what they do. We're learning about how to program drones and code drones. They're using a, a platform called Tinker where they're using block code to create their programs. You can control the flight pattern by putting in the codes that you want. And there is a lot of math integrated with uh, the software. They have to consider angles and coordinates. You can move it side to side, backwards forwards. You can even do side flips, back flips, front flips, and stuff like that. Because I like drones, fly drones. I started flying drones when I was like nine. And I've enjoyed it since then. And we're having a lot of fun doing it. Coming up next on Inside Tuscaloosa City Schools, we'll have more fun from our summer learning opportunities 
And there's also a story from Amstai Science Training. It's straight ahead. Don't go away. Keep up with the latest Tuscaloosa City Schools news. Check out exciting photos and informative videos by liking the Tuscaloosa City Schools on Facebook. Log on to facebook.com slash TCS Board of Ed for the latest in City Schools news. We would love your help as a Junior Achievement Volunteer. If you love children and you don't mind learning lessons to present, you're qualified. We will provide all of the training that you need and all of the materials. It's no cost to you other than your time. If you're interested in learning more about the program, the training takes about 45 minutes. Uh, you can contact me, Carla Harris, at carla.harris at ja.org, or you can reach me by phone at 205-391-0335. We would love to have your help. Teachers across Tuscaloosa are preparing the next generation of leaders and their efforts are made easier with your support. From the classroom to the community to the playing field, see how city school students are making an impact. Watch Inside Tuscaloosa City Schools Monday through Wednesday at 4.30 p.m. and Thursday and Friday at 6.30 p.m. on Comcast Channel 20 and UVerse Channel 99. For up-to-the-minute notices on important Tuscaloosa City Schools happenings, Follow us on Twitter at TCS Board of Ed. Welcome back. Well, reading takes you everywhere, including Great Britain, for students in the Summer Library Program at Eastwood Middle School. So our theme this year is that reading takes you everywhere. So here at Eastwood today, uh, we are going to Great Britain. We're going to have British tea with crumpets and, and the full works. So we're also going to have um, a special guest who's Skyping in to talk to us today from uh, Glasgow. So it's just to give the students a bit of a flavor from a British citizen perspective, really, of how things uh, are so different across such a small country. He explained to the children that actually the UK is comprised of four countries, each with their own culture and to some degree language. Like, flashlight is torch there. I didn't like that, that was weird. But like garbage is bin and rubbish is trash and stuff like that. It was kind of cool. Um, obviously students from America being such a big country, it's quite good to have an understanding and awareness of the impact of uh, text from other countries. We want our children to be prepared to go wherever life takes them. And that may be the UK one day, that may be Japan, um, it may be anywhere in the world, and we, we believe our students in Tuscaloosa City Schools can go wherever their, their potential leads them. Piloting a spaceship, examining moon rocks, and creating space snacks were part of the Skyland Elementary School's Spark 21st Century Community Learning Center's Out of This World Summer Program. Our theme is space, so we are doing lots of space theme learning activities. So um, our kids are just learning about outer space, along with math, reading, um, writing, science, of course, STEM. They're cooking, um, we have art, just lots of fun activities for them this summer, that way they can continue their learning. They are at a space station, so we actually have kids that are inside a space shuttle that are going to outer space. We've got kids that are sorting their moon food. That way they're gonna have um, the colors, we're looking at the colors for the food. And we have some kids that are exploring the moon. Um, they learned about healthy habits, so their smoothies are um, healthy choices. And so they were able to cut the fruit and prepare it and then make smoothies and then actually were able to enjoy the smoothies and um, drink them. 
We have about 50 kids in our program this summer, and it's just great because they can continue learning into the summer, and they're getting to have so much fun. They are having a blast every day. Tuscaloosa City Schools believe in the effectiveness of the Alabama Math, Science, and Technology Initiative. Teachers become students at the summer science training. We are learning how to carry out um, science standards in our different grade levels. Being able to be trained and understand kind of what I'm supposed to do in the classroom is a really big opportunity. I'm really excited. With this training, I'm able to do what the students are going to do. We believe in hands-on learning, teaching kids through activities and investigations. We do the composition notebook, so we're actually doing what our students will be doing. It gives me the opportunity to be able to know how to do it whenever I do it in the classroom with them. We are uh, learning how to teach kids how great science. And so I think just being able to see what our students go through and then actually teaching them that was a really cool thing that I was able to do. And we're having lots of fun today. Our trainers are mainly city schools because it's what we believe in and we know that it works. Yeah, I think I'm going to be really prepared and I'm really, really excited to teach science. The City Schools is an AMSTI buy-in and um, we believe in it. I love AMSTI! Feeding animals, riding horses, and milking cows were some of the fun and educational activities on hand as students took a field trip to the Tuscaloosa Barnyard. Come back, we'll have more stories from the TCS summer camps and a student athlete signs to play basketball at the next level. We'll let you know where he's headed. All this and more is coming up. Stick around. Keep up with the latest Tuscaloosa City Schools news. Check out exciting photos and informative videos by liking the Tuscaloosa City Schools on Facebook. Log on to facebook.com slash TCS Board of Ed for the latest in City Schools news. We would love your help as a Junior Achievement Volunteer. If you love children and you don't mind learning lessons to present, you're qualified. We will provide all of the training that you need and all of the materials. It's no cost to you other than your time. If you're interested in learning more about the program, the training takes about 45 minutes. Uh, you can contact me, Carla Harris, at carla.harris at ja.org, or you can reach me by phone at 205-391-0335. We would love to have your help. Teachers across Tuscaloosa are preparing the next generation of leaders and their efforts are made easier with your support. From the classroom to the community to the playing field, see how city school students are making an impact. Watch Inside Tuscaloosa City Schools Monday through Wednesday at 4.30 p.m. and Thursday and Friday at 6.30 p.m. on Comcast Channel 20 and UVerse Channel 99. For up-to-the-minute notices on important Tuscaloosa City Schools happenings, Follow us on Twitter at TCS Board of Ed.
getting the heart pumping and the blood flowing was the goal at the total body conditioning class at the Summer Enrichment Academy. They love it. Um, this is my first time teaching the fourth and fifth grade and they all have caught on well to the steps and all of the skills. Very rhythmic, very active, very different from high school. <laughs> Um, I just wanted to show them uh, proper exercise principles and techniques, things they can do at home with their family, things they can do alone. Basically everything we use in here is something you can find at the neighborhood Walmart or Academy Sports. So it's something that they can always do without a gym membership or without friends or family. Well, I taught them a routine at the beginning and then we just took segments of each skill and each activity and put it together. The River Rats course at the Summer Enrichment Academy might not be what you think. No, these students were learning about watersheds, testing riverbed samples, and building their own river out of PVC pipe. The title of the class is River Rats and what we're doing is we're studying one phase of the water cycle. It's the surface runoff phase which um, we, we just usually think of as creeks and rivers. And we learned that all water flows downhill and we learned about tributaries and meanders and alluvial features. Checking samples of river bottom materials, pretty much everything about rivers in here. So what we're doing is we're simulating uh, creeks and rivers, doing it with, with PVC pipe, actual flowing water, and we're putting in some of the some of the parts of rivers that you would expect to see and, uh, and experimenting with, uh, with some of the changes we can make to uh, the rivers and, and how that actually looks in nature. We make a river out of PVC pipes. We, we examine with a microscope pieces of mud and river bottom material. So basically it's all about rivers. We learned about rivers and watersheds, so in this class we made, we got in the groups and we made watersheds. But they're also learning about um, about how water behaves, and, and in Alabama uh, we have so much, because uh, we're a really wet state, we have so much in the way of surface runoff, and, and our rivers as a natural resource are uh, kind of a big deal. Not only do you learn, you're, you're also able to have fun, which really is the main thing about this. I had a really good time learning about each everything in this class because it was something new that I learned. Well who doesn't want to learn more about knights, dragons, and castles? They came into focus for students at the Alberta School of Performing Arts 21st Century Community Learning Summer Program where medieval times was the theme. Well our theme this summer at TASPA is medieval times. Our, our students are doing math, uh, science, uh, art, everything that can be tied into that particular thing. We've worked on 10 ground shapes and drawn, we've drawn um, things that have to, something to do with medieval times and we've read a lot of stories about knights. Well we're learning about a jouse and a jouse is where knights fight for the Christians and sake of God. We have been doing art and making crafts and projects. The kids are learning about um, and actually creating their own code of chivalry. Um, they are learning about uh, the careers that they possibly could have had if they were living during the medieval time period. They are working on fractions, um, geometry, everything. So the kids are actually really, really enjoying themselves. I like it because like it gives you one big idea to focus on so there's not too much stuff going on. So it's fun not just for the students during the summertime but also for the teachers because we feel more connected. We can talk about what we're doing in the different classes and maybe have some carryover. Um, like the medieval times, this was the first thing that I've been to and so like this was great to me. The most fun thing was uh, well, mosaic, making mosaic and using it as a team. We get to make different kind of stuff and put things together. TCS principals are constantly improving themselves so they can make others better. Recently, two dozen administrators achieved national certification.
This is our culminating event uh, for all of our administrators who went through a national um, certificate for mentoring of principals. It's important for our school district to nurture leadership, to develop future leaders, and um, we have a group of 28 leaders who went through this, this certification program and received their national certificate through the National Association of School, Elementary School Principals. It's our role as leaders is to develop ourselves as leaders, but also to develop future leaders, um, whether that's an assistant principal or an aspiring teacher or even a teacher leader. Our role is to develop um, leaders for our school system so that we can continue to progress our school system and our strategic plan. So this certification um, just highlights those skills that are really important in mentoring and in supporting educators, particularly uh, educational leaders. Paulding Bryan High School graduate Davion Dennis became the fifth remaining starter from the 2017 Boys Class 6A State Basketball Championship team to play in college when he signed with Butler Community College in Kansas. Um, today I'll be signing at uh, Butler Community College in uh, Kansas. It feels great just to um, know that we done been through so much and to finally, for all the recruitment and stuff to finally come to the end, it feels great. They have a very good program. They play in uh, one of the top um, conferences in the um, JUCO system. So we'll be playing against some very good uh, teams, and I'll get a lot of exposure. Um, they like that I was a pretty much all-around player. I can pretty much do everything, and they feel like they can um, really do a lot with me. They're going to get me in the weight room. They're going to work on my skill set, and it's only going to be up from there. Um, it really helped a lot because we had a lot of um, talent on our team. So it really just helped my game out. It, we helped each other. And then we won the state championship. So it was a great feeling. We've been um, dreaming about this ever since we um, started together in middle school. We were all like, um, we're going to come to high school. We all going to go off to college. We all going to sign. And it was going to be a great feeling. Um, the teachers, administrators, principals, everybody, they, they really um, helped a lot with everything. They made sure we stayed on top of our work. They made sure we were um, staying in the gym. They just really showed a lot of support. They made sure they came to the game. And they really helped us a lot. Keep up with the latest TCS news and information. Like us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter, and connect with us on YouTube and Instagram at TCS Board of Ed. And you can hear TCS news updates on the radio at 103.3. Our website is also chock full of Tuscaloosa City Schools announcements and news. It's www.tuscaloosacityschools.com. Well, thank you for watching this show and supporting local education. We'll see you next time. Teachers across Tuscaloosa are preparing the next generation of leaders and their efforts are made easier with your support. From the classroom to the community to the playing field, see how city school students are making an impact. Watch Inside Tuscaloosa City Schools Monday through Wednesday at 4.30 p.m. and Thursday and Friday at 6.30 p.m. on Comcast Channel 20 and UVerse Channel 99. For up-to-the-minute notices on important Tuscaloosa City Schools happenings, Follow us on Twitter at TCS Board of Ed. Keep up with the latest Tuscaloosa City Schools news, check out exciting photos and informative videos by liking the Tuscaloosa City Schools on Facebook. Log on to facebook.com slash TCS Board of Ed for the latest in City Schools news.